Hey, what's up guys? Mike Redfox. In this video, we're going to continue to test the hash rates of the RX 6600. The hash rates we're going to test are going to be Ethereum, Ravencoin, Firo, Ergo, and Flux. So let's get right to the point here and start with Ethereum. So I'm in Hive OS here. You can see on the screen, Ethereum, we're mining about almost 29 mega hash. You can see the overclocks I'm using here, 900 on the core, 620 on core voltage, 620 on memory controller voltage, 950 on memory clock, and then 1100 on the memory voltage. The miner I'm using is Team Red Miner. You can see here, we'll let this refresh one more time so you can see the results, the performance that I'm getting. And while that is taking its time to refresh some results, you can see also on your screen is the watt meter. This GPU is pulling 68 watts at the wall that is isolated on a server power supply with nothing else on it, just the GPU and its riser. So you can see right here in the miner reporting 28.9 mega hash per second on this RX 6600. So next, let's do Ergo. Ergo is up in mining. So you can see the results I'm getting here, 56.4 mega hash. I'm using the same exact overclocks that I use on Ethereum. It's what I found to be the best. Pulling 67 watts in the wall using Team Red Miner. Again, you can see on your screen here, pulling that 56.4 mega hash in the miner. Let's move on to Raven and Firo. Checking out Ravencoin here, which is the same as Firo will be because they both use the same underlying foundational algorithm of ProgPow. So I've tested them both and they have the same exact hash rate results. But focusing on those algorithms here, specifically with Ravencoin, we're getting 14.69 mega hash and pull in 77, 78 watts at the wall. So a little more power because I did have to up the core. You can see the overclocks are the same as Ethereum, except I up the core clock to give Ravencoin what it needs to perform better on its algorithm. Using the same team red miner, you can see the results over in the miner here. So same thing you would expect if you were mining Firo. Again, they both use ProgPow as their foundational algorithm. All right, last one we're gonna do is Flux. Last but not least, we've got Flux mining here in Hive OS, so you can see the hash rate I'm pulling here is 18.6 solutions per second at about 66 watts at the wall. Now this one, I had to mess with the overclocks for a while and I actually spent quite a lot of time trying different things for Flux. It's not something I've ever mined on AMD cards before and AMD overclocking is still just not my strong suit, but I'll show you what I landed with and maybe you can help me and this community if you decide to mine Flux on this GPU. So you can see the core, I bumped up all the way to 1350, which then I had to bump up the core voltage just to give it a little more power for stability. So I upped that to 660. Then everything else that you see here remains the same as it was on Ethereum. But one of the things that I found is, as I upped the core, I got better results, but yeah, it wasn't as stable, so I had to up the core voltage, got it stable, and I kept kind of just going up and up and up. And then I'm losing efficiency, and I'm just chasing myself around in circles. So I got it to this point, uh, which I was pretty happy with, with the efficiency uh, that it's providing and the results that I'm getting. So let's put all this information into what to mine and just see how we stack up. Everything's entered into what to mine here, so let's take a look. We'll hit calculate. We're just going to do the average profitability going back uh, the last 24 hours with a uh, default 10 cent electric rate. And as you scroll down here, you can see no surprise, right? Ethereum coming in number one, making $2.12 profit per day. Underneath that is Ravencoin coming in at buck 30, and then everything kind of follows suit with Ergo and Flux coming in behind that. No real surprises here, but wanted to provide that information out to you just in case it was gonna be helpful for any decisions that you need to make. So that's it guys, that is testing the hash rates on the RX 6600, the Sapphire Pulse Edition. My goal with this is always just to get this information out there because at some point, someday, somebody will just search hash rates on this card and I hope that this information can be helpful to just giving you a jumping off point to finding your own best performance on your specific GPU because every GPU is gonna be different. I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.